Alright, we're gonna see how much these Orbeez really hurt. Oh, he missed me. You missed me, boy. Come on. Oh, aim down some. You're gonna hit my face. Don't hit my face. Yeah, boy, you missed me again. That hit my belt. You think it dark can reach me? Oh, yeah, it looks like it dark. I'll stand a little bit closer. All right, everybody. This right here is probably going to be the last time you see it set up like this. It's going to have those front runners on it, I think. I'm looking at some other front runners, but those are pretty light. But uh, we might change this tire right here and just get some lighter front runners for it. Or we might just leave them alone. I don't know. But this is the last time you're going to kind of see it like this. And... Um, I got some good news for the trusty S10. Uh, first things first, we will not be able to use the stock fuel for what we are doing to the vehicle now. We will not be able to use that stock fuel. So, to get a calculator, probably need about, I'll say about four inches, probably about four inches that we're going to have to cut out. Um, let me just see how, let me just show y'all. Slide this over. This is the inside of it, if you all haven't seen the inside of it. Nothing special. Just a little stock. Just a little stock S10. Um, but anyways, let me get back to the point. The point of this video is, uh, oh, and also, this is probably going to be the last of a few videos. Uh, probably a few more videos of just me talking because I'm buying parts as we go but I just want to do one big reveal at one time on all the parts that we have I've told y'all about them I've, I've told y'all all about the parts that we have but I haven't showed you all but I'm going to get all the parts together and just wait for a few more parts and then uh, I will reveal it all together but anyways this too we got a good setup on it now. We're not going turbo. I don't know if I said this in a previous video, but uh, we got a nitrous kit, y'all. <laughs> we got a nitrous kit for the low, with everything. It's got the plate, the solenoid, a bottle, a little purge solenoid. I mean, a little purge button. All that it has all of that. Uh, has all that on it, and uh, we're gonna be using it. So we are going nitrous with this. This is an old truck intake that I had for the Denali. This is a, the old original one. Um, I just need to get rid of it. Maybe if I can get like 30 bucks for it, 40 bucks. I'll post it up with two covers. There's two covers. It's one like this. And then the other one is just all black. Just no vortex, nothing. Just all black. But anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're going with a nitrous combination. Now, when I first was going to do like a blow through carb type setup, I just bought a little cheap Holly, uh, the LS carb, the cheapest one I could find. I think it was like 260 some bucks. But since we're going nitrous, we got to spunk it up. So. We are gonna do either Victor Jr. or Super Vic. Ellis and uh, And we're gonna do that. We're gonna do Super Victor or Victor Jr. intake. Uh, probably with a 750, 850 car. Um, stock bottom in LS1. Uh, it's got a cam in it, of course. Uh, it's got an off-the-shelf cam in it, uh, not, not, preferably, well, yeah, off-the-shelf, you know, it's not custom grid, a uh, custom grind for nitrous, so, it is what it is, but, uh, we're gonna do that with this, and we're gonna rock the stock, what is it, 10 bolt, <laughs> we're gonna rock the stock 10 bolt and see how long that'll last, 
but we expect not to last long, but we do have an 8.8, .8. and, uh, I'm, I'm trying to debate if I want to put it in there, because I have these race stars right here that I could just throw in, throw on there, um, without having to get an 8.8 .8 cut, but I'm debating whether or not I want to keep it stock, uh, stock length, or get it cut down to an S10 length, but anyways, um, we're going with a Super Victor set up. Uh, a nitrous bill so this is going to be a nitrous bill for sure um and it's going to have the it's going to have the bent seat in it for a while i don't know how long but it's going to have it in there for a while and um i just need to get a roll bar in there i mean we're going faster than 750s of course but i need to get some sort of cage for protection you never know and it also helped tie the chassis together more and whatnot but I want a cage where it doesn't have to go through the glass, where it can go through uh, the bottom right here. But I know at some NHRA tracks, they a little iffy about that. They want past tech. But then I've also seen the ones where they come through up top. But I don't really like those. I like the ones down there where you can't really see it. But I don't know. I, I guess when we get more serious, much more serious, um, that's when we'll properly last this and then have the bars come through and down but until then I, I i just see no reason for me to really do it because i don't think i'll be running at any nhra tracks really just as long as i have a cage in it some of the ihra tracks and the smaller outlaw tracks you know would let me through but um stock could coming off and uh nitrous bill let me show you how much room we have Okay. All right. Um. This is coming out right here. This is the heater and all the AC stuff that's coming out. This battery is going. The battery is going to the back. We're relocating it to the back. Uh, of course, the fuel cell is going to the back. And. Uh, We may or may not cut the fenders out, just see how everything goes, but we may or may not cut the fenders out for sure, and um, it's a lot of room up here, well I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a lot of room up here, but uh, once we get all this stuff out, we'll see how it is, and then we're going to run a small little eBay uh, radiator, like for the Honda Civics and stuff, the little... I think it's like less than a hundred dollars. It's just a little one, and it should be enough to cool it. You know, I mean, we're gonna we might street drive it. We might not, but I don't know. We, and it's gonna be set up to do a little bit of grudge racing, and so no times really will be revealed. But I mean, I, it just depends. It just depends. Uh, what I'm doing that weekend or something, you know, because you could tone it down and run it in an index class or something if I wanted to, but I doubt I'd do that, but I mean, I like racing a lot, so I may do it, I may not do it, so I don't know, just depending on how it is, but like, someone comes up to me and they say, hey, let's run for like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, I'm game, <laughs> I'm down to run for whatever, dude, uh, I mean, I don't have the biggest pockets out there, so I'm not looking to make a fortune off of it I just want to make make something off of it but like I said I'm not trying to make a fortune if someone comes up to me and wants to race for a small amount for sure because I'm by myself trying to cover this bit so for sure I, small amounts all day those big amounts oh buddy I don't really like to ask other people like let's throw in some money and let's go race these guys I don't really like doing that but So it's a nitrous build. <laughs> Went from a turbo to a nitrous to a turbo. Now it's definitely a nitrous build because I have all the stuff for a nitrous build. But like I said, I'm going to rock the stock 7.5. 10 bolt straight from GM. 26 spline axles. Throw a mini spool in it. And we're going to put 14 gears in it. And we're going to roll with it. And uh, all of the suspension stuff. Uh up front I'm just gonna get some re manufactured uh what lower control arm? No 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 no. 
upper control uppers or lowers I'm gonna get those just remanufactured ones because everybody said those are good and uh, the bushings are really really uh, something to watch out for also and in the back I mean of course we're just gonna keep it simple uh, throw some cow tracks on it uh, maybe mono leaf it but right now the way it's sitting it's on blocks I think it's on two or three inch blocks two or three inch blocks but we're gonna mono leaf it and um, see how that does but it should be rolling real nice I'm super super excited you guys don't even understand because I have a actual direction that I'm really going with the truck now so we know what to do so uh, yeah but like I said it's gonna be a nitrous build now so that's the plan for it. Hopefully it'll be wheels up pretty soon. I'll be like that. Ah, blah, 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 blah. But we'll see. But thanks for watching everybody. And uh, comment below. Super Victor versus Victor Jr. Which one should I get for that set? For my setup. Stock bottom in. LS1. Uh, just trying to run some fast numbers. Alright y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. And uh, please comment below. Let me know what's happening. What y'all think? Alright, y'all. Later.